One of our subscribers asked, how do you draw a stack of books in perspective? Well, t let's take a look at that. Okay, like always, I don't have a formula for how to draw a stack of books in perspective, and I don't think it's a good, uh, good idea for anybody to approach anything in drawing or painting by formula, but by observation. But let me give you some clues as to how you might look at that and always be able to get your stack of books in perspective. Now, for one thing, notice that wherever your eye level is, is going to determine what that perspective is. So, if you look at this stack of books, stack A, you see our eye level is directly aligned with the books themselves. And the way we know that is that we don't see anything of the tops of the books. So, we are, that tells us that our eye level is either directly aligned with these books or slightly below. If you'll take a, a skewer, now this is just an old-fashioned barbecue skewer, but it's one of the best uh, tools I know for seeing perspective. So if you take that skewer and you align it with the, the edges of those books and watch. You see it's almost horizontal. As I move the skewer down from one book to the other, look at the edges, almost, well, pretty much horizontal. But those are the books we're looking directly at the backs of. For the book that's tilted, notice that the, the top edge and the bottom edge tilt too. So the ones you're looking at and you can't see... Uh, you can't see either end of the book, you can't see the top of the book, you know you're looking directly at the back of the book, so that's all horizontal. All those lines will be horizontal. When one is, when a book is turned towards you in such a way that you can see both the back and an end of the book, then you look for angles. Now watch this. If I turn the skewer, it's going slightly up in angle. You come down to the bottom of the book and it goes slightly up in angle. On the other side of the book, the angle changes. So if I align the skewer like this, I see the angle changes. Here, the angle changes. Here, we're going to have a similar thing because we can see here something of the end of the book. And so each one of those books is going to have, going to have a different set of angles. Now, if you were trying to use the rules of two-point perspective, and that would be two-point perspective because there are two different points. If you were trying to use the rules of two-point perspective, you would have a different vanishing point for each one of those books. Doesn't that seem tiresome? It is tiresome. You don't need that. All you need is to be able to determine the angle of the book and the length of that angle. Now, let's come back down to this one. You see all of these we are looking down at. The way we can tell we're looking down is that we can see the top of the book. So we're looking slightly down at these books, and you see that each one has its own set of angles. Now, let's just examine that. You see this one has that set of angles. It's almost, almost horizontal, slightly tilted. This one has this set of angles. See this one? has that set of angles going that way. This one there and this one there. Now let's look at the backs of the books. The back of the top one, you see it has this set of angles. You don't have to call it what it is as long as you can read it. And I'm going to show you in just a moment how to read it and draw it. So you see this book has that set of angles. But look at the one underneath it. The set of angles change. And look at the one underneath that. That set of angles is different set of angles, the one for the top, the one for the bottom. Look at this one. See how that set of angles changes? One to the top, one to the bottom. And look at this one. The set of angles changes from that. The other thing I want you to notice about this stack of books is not only does the set of angles change, but the length of the angles change. So we look, we're looking for two things. You're looking at the angle, at what angle is the line tilting, and how long is that? Now, let's see if I can show you how to do that. So, if you start here, this set of angles, you can hold, uh, you hold your skewer and allow the skewer to touch the end of the book here and then hold your finger 
uh, your fingers right like that so that you can indicate where this end of the, where the bottom end of the book is. Now you can see that is the length of that one. Now we're going to hold that right there. If we come down to this book, we see that from here to here is shorter. See, it's about half the length. It's shorter than this book. That's because of foreshortening. This book turns away from you a little bit more, and so it's going to get shorter between here and here. We go to this book, and you see it's about three-fourths the length of this book because it, it's also foreshortened but not quite as much as this one. And you go to this book you see once again it's about half the length from here to here and then we go to this one and we see it's almost the same length a little shorter than this one. Each one of those books turned in a different direction. Now if we look at this book, this stack of two, uh, you can see that you can see even more of the top of the book. That's what that means is that you are higher, are looking down, you have a higher vantage point. So you're looking down at a deeper angle at this set of books than you are at this one or that one. So where you're standing or sitting or where your eye level is in relation to the books are going to determine the angles of those books. So it's all about angles and size. Angles and size. So now you can see this book this book you can see the top you can see the end and you can see we well, see two ends you see the bottom end and the and the side end so you can see three sides of this book so you can see uh, this angle this angle aligns like this almost horizontal this angle turns this way the angle of this one turns this way now watch this this is really fun because, uh, well, this angle is all on the same plane. The top is all on the same plane as this. So now, if you take, if you look at this angle, it's going to be very close to this angle. Very slight tilt. That's going to tilt towards one point right up there. Kind of like the windows did in our, uh, in our street perspective quick tip. So, and then this one, same thing. This one, same thing. So just pay attention to which way those angles are tilted and and how long they are and then you can determine your angle. Now I'm going to come back to this stack of books here and give you a very short demonstration to show you the other end of that and that is how do you know where to put the marks? How do you know make them, how to make marks? If you have a stack of books or a stack of anything um, it's better to start with the one on top because on the one on top you can see the full shape and then you can fit the rest of them in. So if we started with this set of books, and I'm going to just a little bit here to show you how to use this uh, to read the angle of the line. So we started here and we saw that this angle is horizontal. Well I could actually hold this here and I could say okay there's my horizontal angle. Then I can see that the one behind it, well let's come down to the one below it. That one is also horizontal. So I see it, it starts about right here and I see it's, it's horizontal. So I'll make a horizontal line there. And I can see also right here how those join. Well that's not a part of the perspective, it's just a part of the book. And I can also see here that we have a slight little curve there. So I can go ahead and put that in. Now here comes the fun part. The bottom where this one where it connects, where the back of the book connects right here, the bottom angle tilts. So we can use our skewer and look, there's the tilt right there. There's the tilt. Now, if I can align this here and make a line that goes in that direction of that tilt, I've got the right perspective. I can come above it and say this is the tilt. Now, see, if you notice something, that top line is tilted a little bit more towards the horizontal than the bottom line that as these things go down, because this is where our vantage point is, we're going to find that each, the tilt for each edge is going to change. So if I align my skewer here, then I can see that if I align my line then with the skewer here, I'll have the correct tilt. Now how do I know how long this should be? Well, one good way to do that is simply go back to the reference. We have from here to here. There is one length and we have that length from there to there. So we have here to here. I'm going to scoot it over 
and see how long is this from here to here it's about half the distance do you see that this is about half the length even that we see it we see this about half the length as we see this now that means that this should be about half the length as that as, as this from here to here so if I go from here to here and I come to about halfway that tells me how long that needs to be now don't compare it this way you don't do this and then this because this length has to be compared with that so if I go this way like that one more time I go this way then I turn it in its angle I see it's a little more than half if I go this way like that and I turn it as angle and I go a little more half I haven't made my lines quite long enough so I'll make the lines a little bit longer a little bit longer here then this this remains vertical this will remain well the cur is curved but it's, these will always these won't tilt the the vertical edges won't tilt they'll just uh, they'll just um, uh, join the other angles and so in this case it's curved this curve will be just just sort of like that all right so that's go that gets the end uh, the, the the back the binding the back of the book let's just say and let's get the the uh, bottom pages now let's look at this angle so don't assume that any one of these angles is going to align together because that's not the way perspective works so then if I go to this angle of the book I will find that is just almost that is horizontal pretty much horizontal so I can make kind of a horizontal line there and don't worry about whether it's long or short enough because I can adjust that and then I go to this angle and let's see here well I don't want to have to know that to trace but you can see that angle you see that angle let's just kind of roll it down like that that angle I, I just happened to make that line I just have to make that line just the right height there we go right there and there's your perspective of this book if you found this quick tip helpful uh, we have other drawing or uh, full-length videos on various aspects of drawing one in fact is about foreshortening which help can help you uh, work on the foreshortening problems others of them actually work with uh, how to find angles and so on so go to dianemice.com in the menu section click on uh, video uh, drawing videos and that should take you to our drawing lessons that we have available and if you have a quick tip that you'd like for me to do something that you have a question about drop a comment right down here and we'll be happy to put your quick tip or your suggestion on the schedule and that is your quick tip